Hi, this is Sam Smythe, Smythe Reported Car Service. This is a uh, Bentley Super Sport. You can notice by the additional side air grill here, this one has a crack right here. It's in for all sorts of types of service. Um, we're doing a major service on it. Because these cars sit low, you're going to get scuff marks, and occasionally you can crack this and have this loose. So it is what it is. We'll see if we can repair this, clean these scratches up enough without replacing it. It's like any Ferrari or anything that sits low, Lambo, you're going to have uh, rash marks on it. It's just made to go. Anyway, we have this in here, and we have it all set up. What we want to do is we want to show you on this Bentley uh, how to change the oil and what you have to do and that sort of neat, fun stuff. Um, this is Sam Smythe from Smythe Supported Car Service. Uh, we were established out of Ireland in 1934. So when it comes to Bentleys and Bentley blowers and all the high-end cars, uh, that's something we're familiar with. I want to throw a Mercedes in because I, I, don't, I don't think a lot of people know, but we, when it comes to the 1.5 million and the 300 SLs or the 300 S, um, we are the people to come to for that particular automobile to have service. Uh, positive ground or negative ground cars back then, um, you know, and mechanical fuel injection. So please keep that in mind. But anyway, back to this Bentley Super Sports, and it's sports with an S. It's not sport. Um, it came in for our service. came in for about an hour and a half away. Uh, anyway, with that being said, um, we're located here in Sims Township. We're just, just seconds away from Indian Hill, which is a, a very nice area. So you might want to come see us. We have a small facility, so everything is done by appointment only. We specialize in sports cars. What we want to show you here is an oil change here today on this Bentley Super Sports. So you'll see the camera moving around a little bit, be passed off. I want to show you over here to, to your right, my, uh, the video person's right and, and, and my left. Here's the underskin laminate, which you can see has the screws. And as usual, you always find them damaged in one way or the other. That's damaged there. Um, has scuff marks, has a damaged hole right right there, as you can see. Right there. So these are these are here. So if these are, you know, these are put on your car for protection. So whatever it is, say, you know, you have a storm, something blowing across the highway. We've all been in it at one time or another. Whatever the case, back roads, really nice area. I don't care what it is. Uh, actually, my mother-in-law, it's kind of a funny story in Indian Hill. Every time she comes up there, she goes, your roads are so clear up there. I go, yeah, we turned the heaters on for you. <laughs> she actually bought that for a while, so she talked to my wife. But anyway, <laughs> getting back getting back to the car, uh, this Bentley Super Sport was, all that panel assembly was right in here, as you can see, and it was, did great protection. We don't have any damage to anything. So we're going to do an oil change on this, and it's going to take us a minute. We're going to show you everything. Um, on this car, it's in for like even tires and possibly wheels because so like that left rear wheel has too many weights on it. You know, uh, there's a thing that you have too many weights and then there's a thing that when a wheel rotates, there's what calls wheel hop. If you see this going on a rotating device and then it pops up, that wheel is no good, period. I don't care what you do. Get you, your phone. You, so anyway, with that being said, uh, this one has a piece of uh, rubber taken out of it. Um, so, anyway, that was a call on our tires and some pricing. I believe uh, we're trying to get the uh, uh, Pirelli uh, uh, tires and the pricing. So, that's nice. A lot of our people who work with us, they work pretty fast when we ask for something done. This right here is an oil lever device so you can read within the car. And it will tell you, you have to check for leaks on these. It'll tell you whether your car is one quart low on oil. Which on these high performance cars, don't be afraid. The, the light can come on, it can tell you, and you add a quarter oil. Big deal. No big deal. It, when you get a lot of horsepower, this thing's like 600 horsepower. Don't hold me to the exact figure. You know, what is it? It's almost like um, 0 to 100 and some ridiculous low second amount. 0 to 100 in 7 seconds. 7 seconds, is it? I, yeah. oh, okay, I'd rather say 3, but whatever. Maybe it's not. Um, 0 to 60 in about 4 seconds. Is it? Okay, well... Don't hold us to these figures, but this is just one badass car. This car actually goes up to 204.4 miles per hour and was probably one of the premium fastest cars in it uh, being built as this Bentley car. So anyway, with that being said, we're going to demonstrate uh, an oil service on this. Right here, it's a canister filter on here. This is also like the Bentley GT, in case you're not familiar with just the GT model. Um, even though this car has the appearance of a GT, Believe me, don't let that fool you. This is nowhere near just the GT. 
there is so much horsepower going on here and if you take a quick peek take a quick peek over here show them that outside of the wheels on this car you know you get into what you call it ceramic brakes we do that a lot on Porsches and that sort of thing with the big rotors and the ceramic rotor and ceramic brake pads and all that neat fun stuff that's like a ten thousand dollar plus brake job on a Porsche 911 turbo so you know that's just to give you an idea but on the Porsches we can cheat a little bit if you're a doctor or whatever we'll go ahead and put regular brakes on it for you when you go to sell we'll go back to ceramics or whatever you can just take less for the car so anyway, with that being said, we just want to let you know we, we, ha we have the smarts and the ability to do that. But truly, purebred, uh, we're crew people with crew, uh, crew, crew, nothing but crew parts to be put on a crew build car. And uh, so you'd want to keep everything absolutely original. I was speaking about the Porsche turbos. So anyway, going back to this car, um, we have the motor oil here. And as you can see, we have a Bentley crew oil filter. Um, every time you replace the oil, you're supposed to get drain plugs. As you can see, we keep a, a amount of drain plugs for these GTs because this is not just a one-day occurrence. Um, we have been picking up. We're extremely grateful. We are extremely grateful. This business has been here since the 1950s. I started it myself, my own business, in the, in the early 70s, uh, mid-70s. And um, this isn't the first place, but... Uh, we've been in the same township here, so I've got about 38 years, everybody says. I started when I was like in my 20s, and everybody said, no, you can't do it, but here we are, just proven wrong. Uh, so right out of high school on the gate, you know, uh, listened to a lot of, uh, I was trained as an apprentice, so I'm very proud of that. Um, these guys knew, you know, this is where wrenches go in a drawer. As you can see, snap on wrenches, this is like $6,000 set. You know, but uh, and then there's some other non uh, snap on, but this is where you keep tools. You keep everything has a reason and uh, goes in a certain place for a certain thing. When you get over here, you can see like doubles of something long. And if I pull that out further, it'll be uh, short, long, you know, the actual same. Or you might find two of the same, but an actual thinner wrench to get around brake calipers. There's all sorts of specialty tools involved. Um, being an authorized independent, they have given us all the specialty tools. Um, our distributor is Jack Barkley for all the actual parts. So we're, we're, we're offered the same amenities as an authorized new car dealer, but we are not a new car dealer. We are an independent here. Um, so we want to make that clear. But Bentley Motors, something you don't know about, is called, has, a, has a department called Heritage. And Heritage, what they do is they take care of the pre-55 cars, and all the older uh, Bentleys, and then they take care of cars like this uh, Silver Serif Rolls Royce, because Rolls Royce now being taken over by BMW and created out in uh, the Phantom, uh, that is not affiliated with the heritage of these other cars. So those new Phantoms and then Plus, where they stretched them and went on and on and on, it's not a part of this. But in our Bentley thing, for all the Corniches and back, that is approved in our Rolls Royce thing here with by Bentley Motors to handle all these cars. Remember, this is two affiliations. So Bentley themselves is actually doing the, uh, 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 taking care of the parts and everything. So no worries about your Corniche or your, or any, anything like that. You know, what do I do with Silver Cloud 1, 2, 3, whatever, you know, whatever the case may be. So, uh, or the year make and model. Um, and you can find it, Heritage Parts by Bentley. Uh, that may not be direct. Switch it around by Google. You'll find it. If not, give us a call. We're in Cincinnati. Our number is 513-793-0434. And again, it's Sam Smythe Imports. And our website is www. And it's like Smith, but take the Y, take the I out and put a Y. S M Y T H Imports. I M P O R T S dot com. Smythe Imports dot com. Uh, so you can look us up that way. We also have a mobile site, but you have to do it exactly like this. You have to spell out the word mobile, then put a dot, put Smythe, S-M-Y-T-H, imports.com. Then the mobile site will come up absolutely perfect for you on your phone. So once again, it would be mobile dot Smythe, S-M-Y-T-H, imports, I-M-P-O-R-T-S, dot com. So for the, your mobile users out there. So anyway, we have this car all set up. So anyway, with that being said, um, we have an apprentice here the way I was taught. Um, you, you learn from the old guys, and they teach you how to do it. There's only one way to do it. It's the right way. 
and that's it. And so we have an apprentice right now who's going to demonstrate. His name is Peter. I'm going to take control of this camera here, and we're going to give some more information on how to do a proper oil change on a Bentley Super Sports motor car. Okay? So with that being said, the camera's being handed over. Okay, Peter, if you'd like to go from there. Um, as you can see right here, we have staged the, the here's an oil bucket that you're going to need, which we have this thing on a lift, which this is a rotary lift. But by the way, like I said, we're Sam Smythe Imports, but because we do so many exotic cars, this lift was actually built for the McLaren SLR Mercedes, but we had a custom build for the McLaren SLR and to pick up all our Rolls Royces and Bentleys. So just in case you didn't know that, that's what we've done here. Now, Peter, our, our apprentice here um, with several years of experience is gonna use, we use all snap-on wrenches. There's Mac, there's Cornwall, there's a bunch of wrench companies out there and tool companies. Um, it's just for generations since snap-on was started, we've always been a big snap-on fan. Just love the feel of the, of the wrench. I'll show you a picture of it right here. Yeah, you know, it says snap-on. Anyway, what we're gonna do is we've got a six-point socket. We're gonna use a 12-point head instead of a six-point head. But that's okay, as long as it's tight and firm, it'll work just fine. And we're and that is a, what size is that? It's a 19 millimeter. 19 millimeter, we're gonna break, go ahead and break this oil, oil thing loose. Just snap it, what I do. Now see, there you go. Now what I like to do is I tap the wrench with my palm, and that'll help too, bringing it off. So we're gonna try and catch all this oil. Now watch, you remember when you're setting an oil pan up, you wanna set it off to the right hand side of the plug where it comes out because it won't come straight down. It'll shoot out probably about six or eight inches. So you gotta be careful. There you go, see? Now if you look, that being said, Peter's done this enough, see? Oh, that black oil that's coming out of this car. But you can see how far away it is. That is probably one, two, three, four, about five inches actually away from uh, the actual drain plug. We like these bigger basins because that way it'll keep our floor, as you can see, we like our floor shiny, clean, like new. Um, and our customers do too. I, We may be a small company, but we pride ourselves in a lot of cleanliness, a lot of, a lot, just keeping everything as, as clean as we can. Um, uh, so anyway, with that being said, we're waiting for this to be drained. Car was heated, actually heated up, shut down, and uh, now this is all coming out. So that's what you want to do. You want to have a little heat, little temperature, like oh, I don't know, about 150, 160 degrees uh, on the oil temperature to actually get it out, and it's going to be clean and work well for you. Um, the other things you can look for is you can put your finger here for like contaminants. You can see this oil's dirty, but when it's on my finger and I feel it there is still consistency to this motor oil. So it's not like, thank you, Peter, it's not like it's a, uh, the motor oil's black and oh, it's shot, and oh, let's get all worried and flip the customer out and do all that neat stuff. You won't find any of that being done here. You won't find any slamming of our colleagues in here. So, you know, if you're a customer and you have a problem with another shop, do not come to us and slam another shop. These are our colleagues, you know, so if you have a problem with them, I suggest you go back to them and you work those problems out Speak and those difficulties. Owner. Speak to the owner, absolutely. Especially on a on a, a new car purchase or anything. You know, we don't get involved. You ask us anything like that, we're, we stay out of it. You know, these are our colleagues. We help them. We do whatever is needed. That's just the way we were raised and that's the way it's going to stay. So anyway, with that being said, we got back here and we've got our, our, our uh, drain plugs here. We're almost low on it right now. We used the 19 millimeter. This is what you call 12 point. Um, the six point, as you can see, let's show you the drain plug. This is what you call a six point. And, you, and if you want to be 100% perfect, you'd use a six point. But if you grab a right wrench where it's tight and within here and you don't feel much movement, get a 12 point. And as you can see, it didn't round anything off, just broke loose, absolutely fine. Key thing too with oil drain plugs, You'll find here, we don't use air guns. Um, a lot of places like to use air guns. We're not in a big hurry to do this service. We want to make sure this service is done and done correctly. It's not a matter of let's hurry up and get the car done and get it out of here. We're only making a certain amount of money. So, uh, you know, I mean, we just don't do that. It's just not that way. 
So, and as you can see, we, we, the mobile oil, what we like to do, we like to purchase this mobile oil, and we like to purchase it as needed. We've been offered uh, distributor ships to put drums out back and whatnot. Uh, that's all fine and great, but, you know, what if you're not doing a bunch of oil changes? All of a sudden, you get slow, and, and we're not an oil change place. Our, our skills and abilities go way above and far beyond just doing oil changes. But, you know, so when if they make you a distributor, if you're fortunate enough, somebody approached you and, and you know, maybe gave you $10,000 to put signage up and do all sorts of neat stuff. Um, some of them I hear they give you 20000 or whatever, put their name and do that. Well, that's all great, but, you know, I would definitely want a, a plastic drum. I wouldn't want any metal drum. And, you know, I would stick with the specific items. Um, and there would probably be more than one drum because um, in some of these cards. But most of these Bentleys are running 0W40, so that's a pretty pretty easy one. But by buying it in this, we, we can pass on the savings to the customer. We're about, probably about... 100 to 150 dollars less than a dealer but we don't have a 10 million dollar building or a 5 million dollar building and we're purchasing as we go along um so there are some issues there um you will have to wait a little bit more here you will have to make an appointment here we don't have free loaner cards here um there are a lot of that that goes along with with uh, um some delays and things like that as you can see uh this is the proper marked um filter uh, actually here it will give you since VW owns it obviously you're gonna find a VW insignia and obviously you're gonna find what looks to be and appear to be a VW part number uh, you can see that it's made in Germany obviously since now it's a part of uh, crew and a part of Germany so these are just great 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 cars we're almost ready to go ahead and put the plug back in it. Uh, so we'll grab a new plug and we'll put the plug back in it. And then you'll be all set. As you can see up here, once again, you can see the different uh, difference on these have these spoilers. You know, uh, right here on the left fender and on the right fender, you know, that sort of thing. And uh, uh, that's a big difference on a Super Sport and on the bonnet and on the hood. Uh, that uh, that itself uh, indicates a uh, super sport. Um, these wheels and tires, you know, and they, if you look inside there, you can just see the massiveness of the width of the rotor and the massiveness of this Bentley caliper. I mean, it's huge. And then if you look at the left front lower fender, it says super sports on it. So... There's a lot here that tells you this this car is equipped with 27535 ZR20 because it is a 200 plus mile an hour car. So when you get into 200 plus, it is a ZR. That's good. You want to get that all tightened, please? We're going to go ahead. All the oil's been drained out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and snug this up. You don't have to be ridiculously stupid. The wrench is good and long, but you want to pull it and feel it till it pull stops and just give it just a hair quarter turn maybe an eighth you're fine and then wipe the bar off make sure it's all clean there that rag was actually dirty let's see here yep get any absolutely spotless so anyway with that being said then we're going to go over to the canister like i said a canister filter it's being demonstrated here now this canister filter we're going to open it slowly and let it drain into here and we whip it off too fast it'll go actually go past the drain pan so that's being pulled right now as you can see you have to be careful these run up with an o-ring and they run so far they run lock start stop and that's it they don't go any further so that's just the way it goes um so right at the moment and then once it's free it starts coming out the actual socket for this that you can use for the back side of it, if you want to get away with it, is a 1.716 socket. 1 in 7 16th. Yes, 1 in 7 16th socket. That is correct. Slowly try and pull that off. If you yank it off too fast, we might not get everything in the pan. Let me stand back a little bit. Do we get anything on our camera? Um, what is this camera? This camera's got some really cool vision stuff. What do, it's a GoPro. What's this thing? It's a GoPro. GoPro. Yeah, I, I really like it. I'm glad you brought it up. Uh, 
Peter, our uh, apprentice here, is just like super smart when it comes to all this technical stuff and these new cameras and new products that are coming out. Uh, and uh, we've I've really enjoyed uh, not only working with him, but the experience he has in regards to all this. But as you can see, we're not hitting the floor. We're not doing anything. Oh, my. We're looking at a filter here that absolutely there's no clarity of uh, a brightness of uh, you can see it's run its course. But uh, 4,000 miles, it could look like that. So there is no panic. There's a few bent fins. Yeah, there. yeah, and that'll happen too. So with that being said, we're going to pull it off. Now, um, show, the, show the viewers too. On your right hand there, see, no, take your right hand away there and flip it up. See the, the this type of the mark right here? We don't see any action here. Use this rag, please, if you would, and wipe that. And see if you see where it shows that. Because there are aftermarket filters by man. Remember, man and pure later are like oil and um, fuel filters. Okay. Yeah. No, that's a correct one. And then flip it the other way. Show them. So if you look at this part, you see all these notches right here. These notches go in. Flip it back the other way, please, so you can see the. Not and then there's a piece of felt. So those notches and everything all go in towards the thing first. So, just with that being said, we're gonna, we're gonna hand Peter one of these new filters. We're gonna get uh, some rags. He's gonna get some. He's gonna wipe out this canister. There's also a seal ring that gets replaced on it as well. This is what versus the new one. You can, the old one. I don't even know if you can see it in a pan. It actually blends in. But this is what a new one will look like. And. This is the numbers. Oh, by the way, if you see this car over here and you're wondering what it is with the Coke can on it, I was just having a Coke while I was doing some ignition work. That's a uh, 1954 MGTF. So when it comes to sports cars, we do everything. We do, we do the MGs, we'll do the Triumphs. Well, you know, and then of course, we, yes, absolutely, we do Bristols and Cobras and, and all the high end cars, you know. Uh, and the Lotus and the Ferrari, that's that's not a problem. Uh, been there, done that, and that sort of thing. But we also do MGs, Triumphs. We do a lot of cars that are collector cars or becoming classic collector cars. Just wanted to let you know that. So anyway, back to this uh, Bentley Super Sports. We're all set here. What we're doing right now is we have a small, thin screwdriver, and we're actually removing the O-ring from it. It has a separate groove all of its own on the... Uh, and we'll show you all on its own. Here's the new one. Yep, set that down. The actual groove is right here where my thumb is. If you're looking, there is a larger, you'll see all the threads, and then there is an actual larger groove right here that it fits in. You don't want it below it or above it uh, because it can damage it, and then therefore you can get a leaky filter. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put just a small amount of lubricant on the new oil ring. It comes like kind of white, chalky, gray look. There you go. And then we're going to make sure it's all applied in a 360 degree radius all the way around the bottom threads in the proper place. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to install. As you can see, look, see the holes bigger here and the holes smaller there. So the bigger end goes into the filter. As you can see, look at that, that coil there. So you really can't mess it up, okay, if you were wondering. So with that being said, being inserted right now by our technician. There you go. Runs in. Done. It's in. It's bottomed out. There you go. Hear that click? Now you know it's home. Now it's going back to be installed. Let's grab a little bit of that. There we go. It'll take a minute. We'll just take our time. We install it right so we get on our threads absolutely right. See, this this is a, this is a little 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 crazy, little stupid, as far as just not 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 stupid here. Let me try it. I'm I'm pretty good at this. Oh, there's an actual hose in the way above it. Yeah, the, but at, at, right above it, well, you I can guess feel that's there's turbo intake. right. Well, whatever it is, I don't know. I can't see it right at the moment, so I'm not going to guess. But anyway, you can see it can get in the way, but all oil filters should start this easy. Should go ahead and turn this easy and just move on up and then run on up. And then now that it's getting really, really close, it's like 
compressing some of that, like was pointed out earlier, how that filter is compressed. Okay, that's what it's kind of doing right now. It's compressing it, and it's gonna run up to where, oh God, it is actually stopped between the plastic and the aluminum right there. So just to be safe, we're gonna take this, we're gonna take this uh, socket we have here, excuse me, and we're gonna, we're gonna just, I can't really tell, you know, I, I'm not, but I can tell with this real quick. Oh, got just a hair turn on it. That's it. See it stop, okay? So I usually do it so it flips out of my hand and isn't gonna just torque and shatter and break the plastic. So, you know, you do this for 38 plus years, plus another nine before that when you're a child working on coach, you know, you kind of, you get the feel of what you can and can't do. So with that being said, this is all being wiped off because we'll actually start this car and we'll leave the cover assembly off and we'll check for any leaks or anything in case we have some sort of failure or some sort of problem. So now the oil bucket's being put away and we're gonna go ahead, I'll, set the, I'll go over to the lift assembly. Like I said, this is a rotary lift. It was made for uh, Mercedes McLaren uh, and they weren't gonna sell it to us, but when we modified it, we put a bigger, a much stronger pump on it, different cables on it, different pads on it, um, we, uh, and told them what we'd like to do. Then it was like no problem. They were able to go ahead. Can you get the slide out of here? Is it in the way or not? Oh, okay, great. Sure, if it's not in a way, no problem. We'll let her down. So, better to be safe than sorry. We can't walk around cars enough to make sure that everything's absolutely out of the way. I'm gonna check on the other side, please. Make sure we're cool there. Nice, smooth operating lift. Um, we usually replace these every 10 to 12 years, maybe 15 anyway. Um, they can give you some problems. So anyway, when you pull the hood release, the Bentley logo in the center uh, of the Bentley wings here of the mascot actually pops up. We'll give you a side view here. And yet to release, and so does the grill. So to get this grill up and unrelease, you're gonna have to lift it, pull this, look out, and then it unlocks, there you go. And it'll drop back in down in there. Then you can lift it all the way up. Okay, um, the actual oil filter was right here. Like I said, this is a 6.0 liter and super sports. And yes, the oil filler cap, thank you, was right here. So that was actually staged for you. So we're going to start putting oil in this. And you can see the brake fluid right here. You can see how clean the honey is. It's supposed to be like a honey look. Look, you even get uh, tree leaves and branches and all sorts of neat fun stuff. Um, you have air filter assemblies built into the bonnet right here. So, and then of course, engine air cleaners right here. But like I said, we're sticking just for the oil service for you right at the moment. And if you have a washer fluid light on, um, right here is gonna be your, your washer fluid. So that's something people might like to do. Um, remember, anytime you're doing any of these things, I guess the biggest thing, let's just, uh, uh, the oil change is, the oil change, you want the engine a little bit warm so you can get everything out of it. But everything else, you want to do dead cold on as far as checking in the morning. That'll stop, no vapor locks, or if you don't know a certain way to how to bleed something or check something, you're not gonna have any problem if the car's dead cold. But boy, you open one up warm and don't follow procedures on these new cars today, you will get yourself into trouble. A lot of them have put the blower motor on high or put the blower motor on low, put the heater temperatures on defrost or put the heater temperatures on low uh put the uh or fan, that would be fan speeds i'm sorry change the fan speeds to high to low there's all sorts of deviations in order for auxiliary pumps to get fluid from to through the firewall and back through and to the engine in this case you're uh you've got twin turbos and a cooling system so you've got you know you got a lot of movement to get water up forward in around and then back and then start the process all over again so anyway we're moving towards there um not much more as you saw you had your your lower shield that was removed i'll show you a picture of that again there's your lower shield that was removed for inspection and then 
you had your drain plugs which you replace there's not a washer or anything and no you should not reuse them um to save yourself some money you get yourself in these larger capacities in the zero w40 if you're a do-it-yourself or if not we'll provide it for you and provide you a savings on the oil service as well um we don't try and beat out the dealers it's not our business to uh, beat out a dealer um uh, we can offer you some a little bit more savings from time to time unless they're running a special so you know you need to check with them just as well uh but anyway, uh, we do have lower overhead, so that, that is a plus. So sometimes you get an extra hour or two out of us where it can't be somewhere else. So anyway, um, this is pretty much it. We're going to top it up, then we'll fire it, run it, make sure nothing leaks underneath. We'll put the pan back underneath, and that's pretty much it. Um, I believe this is 13.2, 13.4. Here's the oil dipstick on this car to the mechanical part of looking at it. some of these inserted shoved down hard or wrong will have this broken off where my finger is touching you know and then you're up to $160 because you have to actually buy the actual dipstick housing so we have had them come in where they've been not centered forced down in there hard and been broken so we'll keep going with this until it reads properly fire it up let it run check it for leaks go back make sure we like it just a hair under the maximum full line for expansion purposes. So anyway, with that being said, I'm Sam Smythe, the Sam Smythe Imported Car Service. This is a 6.0 liter Bentley Super Sports in for a complete service. We got wheels, tires, a little bit of road rash stuff to fix, uh, ventilation things. Uh, you know, other than that, it's a straight up clean car, just some normal when you drive it and you use it things that are going to come up so if you're in cincinnati ohio come see us like i said we're established out of ireland 1934 our main specialty has always been rolls royce and bentley um we've done all high-end cars um on the german side we've done you know all your all your 300 sls and your 300 s and your your slrs and your, you know gull wings i mean I, I just amg i can't i can't go on enough of the specialty type cars on that end um, and then on, on the uh, sports cars for the uh, British side, European side as well. We've done, you know, all your, your we've done everything from your Bristols, your Morgans, I mean, um, Aston Martin, um, and then, you know, all your other sides. We've done Lamborghini, Ferraris, and it doesn't matter where it's a Daytona 365 GTB4, which I'm really fond of for Cam 12 cylinder six pack. I love that thing with gate shifter in it, 14,000 RPM TAC. Hey, if any of you nice have a car. Dino, bring in the Dino. Well, okay, uh, Dino's a great looking car, but you know, I'm I'm more of a 12 cylinder man. So, but yes, we do like the Dinos as well. So, anyway, with that being said, um, once again, I'm Sam Smythe, the Sam Smythe Imported Car Service. This car came in from out of town, as you can see. It's a Bentley Super Sports. You can tell by the seats right away. A lot of carbon fiber, um, your identifications on your right quarter panel, your left quarter panel, your engine compartment, your VIN number, all that neat fun stuff. So give us a call. Uh, we'll be glad to help. If there's something we can't do and you just need some information, you're from out of town, feel free to call 513-793-0434. And thank you for watching this YouTube video for an oil service. And as I said, you want to be careful inserting this in and out and checking, and we do it more than once. And then we fire the car up and we run it without the skin on it. We check everything, make sure we're fine, and then we move from there. So, And we always like to make sure we're just a hair low on the car. So we'll fire it up. It'll suck it down a little bit. It'll be a little bit lower. Once it warms up, the normal operating tension, let's just say we'll bring it up to 160 degrees, 170 degrees. Ferrari prefers, I think it's 160 degrees before you even think of taking it off an idle. So if you're going to service garages and they're revving the cars, revving your Ferrari when it's cold, you need to run as fast as possible. Get away from them. Seek a new place. Because if you look at the owner's book, it says do not rev the car till it's past 160. And that's been a given for all race cars, Formula One cars, and all that way for years and years and years and years. Just so that's the only thing I can tell you there. Um, with that being said, once again, uh, come see us. Uh, this is Sam Smythe, Cincinnati, Ohio, and it's Bentley Supersport. 
Thank you much.